praise the Lord and hallelujah. What shall we render unto our God for all his mercies store? Brethren, we'll take the gift that he has already bestowed and we'll humbly ask him for more. He is so good and his mercies endure it forever. I believe you are doing great in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ because it is by his grace that we are still alive. Papa, we thank you for the gift of life. Father, Lord, we'll never cease praising you because you are too good. You are good all the time. Brethren, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? And God is calling us today to, to come closer to him so that whatever he has in his hands, he will give unto us. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and kindness. Precious Holy Spirit, we pray that you have your way in our meeting today too. We need you always, O oh God. We are vulnerable, and the Lord, without you, we can do nothing. Thank you so, so much. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, today too, we'll take our devotional reading from Ephesians chapter 3. The verses 14 to 21, 14 to 21. And then I pray that the Lord, the Holy Spirit himself will teach us all, understand him better and better and better. Hallelujah. We pray for wisdom and knowledge that comes from his word. Help me spread the gospel, be an evangelist for the Lord, because it is the great commission given unto each and every one of us Christians to proclaim the good news. Hallelujah. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, we say God bless you for subscribing and always being with us. Thank you also that you will you, you will like and then you will share. Hallelujah. Even as we wait for the second coming of Christ. The heading says that Paul's prayer for spiritual growth. When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength, hallelujah, through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand as all God's people should. How wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. Amen. And so, brethren in the Lord, we see here that Paul was interceding for other Christians. That is exactly what we also have to do, interceding for other believers, especially those who have now come to know the Lord because we are in, in difficult times. And growing in the Lord is something that needs to, and everyone who wants to grow in the Lord needs someone also to help him grow. Because if one is converted now and the person does not have any follow up, anyone to guide him or her to stand well in the Lord, it will be difficult. We all know and see the times in which we are. But we pray that the Lord will use us as instruments as we counsel people 
will continue also to intercede on their behalf. We know that as we intercede for other people and as we help other people grow in the Lord, the Holy Spirit himself also helps us to stand. He gives us word for others and he gives us strength to continue to help others also to be on their feet. And Paul was saying that when he thinks of all these, what are these? Because from um, the beginning of the chapter, uh, God's plan concerning his children and the purpose, the purpose of which he created human beings, so he brought us to himself. He explained everything there. And so Paul wants us to know that we have special things that God has prepared for us and that we need not walk anyhow, but we should have it on our minds that we have an eternal home. God has an eternal plan for his children. And this is what Paul wants us to understand. That is why he's interceding or he interceded for other believers so they also come to understand Christ. And from here, King Yenani said, Paul, Edima Afofro. Now, it's a prayer you want me to be before Christ to a Yehun said, Ebeya didn't say Nipano or non combat me in an answer, sir. A titting in our Christ, so when you will be a bell born with me, Jina will not so. A brown crown corn, no shay and then no shay and mano. Nay, answer yet, yet they bore a full front to Jinoma nice so. Nay, your church at three, no fee verse one, a banning in Anna. Now, Paul, a church on Yanko Pong, now one with dear or woman in ma, and he said, You will see us here down, quite a dear man in ma, and he said, You on Yanko Pong, now one dear at here. And it's not true, you're drinking as a society, a bay and by a brabby, a rebiara no. You be home saying, You're mere fray of fra a summer bono. Let us say, Trasse, O Dima, a did for a month or so, or more be home Christo, yes, so. Many ones or so, young copo any day, and so say. Yans ye be dear ma for fro, and until you say a bra bon so a yes to sudria, a chassay a bra bon so yes to sudria. Our lives should be exemplary for others, other people to emulate because if we are supposed to help others be, to be on their feet, just as Jesus told Peter, he says that when Peter, when you are able to stand, feed my lamb, care for my sheep, and all that, and it means that God is expecting leaders and those who are, are in the Lord already to groom those who have just come to know the Lord so that they will stay on their feet. Brethren, we are in evil days. So we pray that the Holy Spirit himself, who is our strength, will strengthen us to stand for him alone. That no wind will blow us, but that will, our trust will be rooted in him that it will be rooted in him, that our love for God and for his work will grow from strength to strength. Paul said in verse 18, he says, that, And may you have the power to understand as all God's people should, how wide and how long, how high and how deep the love of God is, so that we'll all, also, we'll all understand who God is, we'll understand the love of God, we'll understand how he he gave himself up for us. Oh, the love of God is too much. We give him all the glory. Paul says that, and I, I, I believe that the Holy Spirit, through these words of Paul, is speaking to me, and I know he's speaking to you too. He, say, he says, may you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life, and power that comes from God. So, God is good. Let us cling unto him forever. He is our only hope. He looks unto us that we can complete the work that he's put in our care. In the same way as we also look up to him. Paul says in verse 20 that, Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power to work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. So whatever we ask God, he does it more exceedingly abundantly than we even ask of him. So glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through our generation forever and ever. May the Lord help us to stand for him alone forever and ever. God richly bless you. Have a fruitful day. Onyanko po onsha, onyamim dumi yeni yentena siye ye. A ye 
ni eni ne entina se afebo o nyankopon kan ye nyina ye ho ye ho na se yesu amae na ye be sure china wo line so if jesus has not come today we'll meet tomorrow on the line have a fruitful day bye bye